Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial. I'm Alex Bowers and in this video we'll be covering a little known um, concept or component of the HTML5 API index and what we're going to be covering is something called context menu. You may have seen this before on something like Flash websites where if you right click it comes up with a menu and you can select different things and the using a Flash action script you can right click um, and have that menu have links to so your, your other websites or something along that effect or to hide it so it doesn't save it as a flash player that sort of thing well HTML5 now has this component built in but where you can currently just add elements or menu items to the right uh, to the uh, menu which comes up when you right click so I'll just show you quickly this is the menu that I mean and if you hover over this you'll see here we've got Twitter and other these are two which I've added earlier and we're going to show you now how to create this. Okay, so if we go over to our HTML page, you'll see that we've got just a very basic HTML page. We've got um, the style, which is irrelevant. We've got the head tag and we've got a body tag. Inside the body tag, we've got a section tag. Inside the section tag, we've just got a line of code. That line, not line of code, that a line of content. This content is irrelevant, it makes no difference what this content is, it could be an image, it could be an entire list item, it could be anything. This work, this method works on any tag, so it works on the body tag, it works on the section tag, it works on a div tag, it'll work on a span tag, it'll work on pretty much any tag going, so it'll be completely um, worth, definitely worth doing if this is the sort of thing that you're looking for. And I'll show you a couple of uses for it in a few minutes. But first of all, let's get it started. So the way that you do this is in your tag, so you could do this in a body tag, section tag, anything you like, type in context menu equals and then the double quotes sign and close the double quotes. And inside there we need to put an ID of what our menu will be referenced to. And by doing this we will be able to have multiple menus going on at the same time. So I'm just going to call this menu and in our head tag I'm going to do open the menu and do type. And this is going to be equal to context and then we've got to select the ID which it was menu and close that tag. And now if we add a menu item, sorry one word, menu item and we add a label to that. The label is what will show up on the actual page. So when we right clicked and we had the word Twitter, that was the label. So this one I'm just going to do refresh. And you can have it so it does a certain thing when you click it. So that's by done by doing on click. And this will add, well it's going to refresh, so it's going to be window.location.reload. I think that's right. I'm not very good at JavaScript, but I believe that's right. If it's wrong, then it's the principle that counts anyway. And then we'll do another one just to show you what they look like if we were to do multiple. And I'm not going to do non-click for this one, but what you could do um, is have it so that you it reloads a different page, so it would load it and take you to say the social network page where you're to your profile or something like that. Um, what you'll notice here is that this one, because it hasn't, it hasn't got an on-click area, um, it means that it's still clickable but nothing actually happens when you do click it. So if we go over into Firefox and we click on the normal part of the page, this is the body section which I just clicked on, then you'll notice that it isn't there. However, if we click in this part of the page, it is here. And if we click on a social network, nothing happens. If we click on refresh, it refreshes the page. Do you see a little blip up here? I'll do it again. There you go. It quickly reloads the page. The reason why it doesn't take long to reload is because there's one line of code on it. One line of content, rather. But it definitely does work. It refreshes the page. It does what it should do. And if we click on the second one, nothing happens. But sometimes you need a nested menu. There isn't actually an example of it here. But I'll show you an example quickly. And the way that we can do that is change this to just be a menu. I'll make that plural so it makes more grammatical sense. And then we'll do a more menu item label. And I'll do Facebook. And I'll do another one. 
Okay, go plus. And if we go back into Firefox and reload, you'll see here we get this arrow, and this will allow us to then select this one of these two. As far as I'm aware, there isn't a limit as to how many nests you can do, but I'd recommend only doing maybe two, maximum three. So this would be the second tier, and the third tier would be the one that comes up over here. The reason for that is that people don't really like following long trails, and it can often be confusing, so try and keep it to two or three tiers I would, is what I would, re would recommend. I do recommend that you do use it, but don't use it for anything which is necessary, or if you do do it for anything that is truly necessary, and make sure that you have a backup plan somewhere else on the page so that people who use something like Fire, um, Internet Explorer or Google Chrome or Safari actually have access to the content which you make. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.